All right, everybody, we are back, and we're going to be um, getting into our last video game for the day. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, for this week, or however you want to put that. Uh, there was just an ad playing on it, so I had to wait for a minute. Um, this next one looks like it's going to be a almost like a For Honor style game. If you remember For Honor when that came out a couple years ago, um, but maybe a little bit more action action oriented. Well, I shouldn't say not action or like action video game oriented. More fantasy elements, magic and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, uh, let's check it out. We are watching the trailer for. Are you a gym rat? Or even just somebody who works to stay healthy through exercise? If so, I have found your new favorite color. Purple. Purple Works Nutrition offers a pre-workout manufactured right here in the good old US of A. Their pre-workout is formulated by a healthcare professional with a simple, easy to understand list of all natural ingredients with no preservatives or artificial flavors. Action Pack members. In the words of the mighty Grom Hellscream, why be strong enough when you can be stronger still? By harnessing the power of purple. Purple Works pre-workout is the ultimate pre-workout supplement that targets tried and true ingredients that deliver energy, focus, and strength. You can find this pre-workout at purpleworksnutrition.com. You can find a link in the description down below. Warhaven, the official teaser trailer. Summer Game Fest 2023, coming at us from IGN, we're gonna like the video. Get a peek at the world of Harith, Herarth, Herarth, what the heck kind of name is that? And combat gameplay in this teaser trailer for the upcoming medieval fantasy brawler game, Warhaven. As revealed during the Summer Games Fest 2023, Warhaven heads to Steam Early Access in fall 2023, and a demo will be available as part of Steam ne uh, Next Fest beginning June 19th. Okay, okay. Um, 2023, all right. So I got a one minute, 34 second trailer. As you see this, like, you guys don't see the, can't see the thumbnail that I saw, but basically, yeah, it's it's a medieval type game, so. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. All right. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Okay. There's the swords. Eighty pounders. Ooh. See, oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just a second. I gotta pause on that. Before the stream started, we were talking about our sponsor, Purple Works Nutrition, which you should definitely go check out and support using the promo code Mike to get fifteen percent off at checkout. Um, but I was just saying, like people work out nowadays with these weights and they do all this different stuff and eat all these different things to try to be so great at working out, but. You know, in medieval times, they didn't weight benches didn't exist, but people still picked up eighty pound swords and cut each other in half. So, I mean, they must have been doing something right. I just want to point out that I like—I think I've told you this before. I'm into heavy weapons and heavy armor. Okay, hammers is a big thing for me. My favorite superhero, is Thor. So, like, I don't know. Maybe this would be like you—you're over here fighting this guy, and then this is me. This is me right here coming in. Yeah, forget about all that sword fighting. I'm just going to whack you with a hammer. <laughs> oh, no. It looks like that guy was the good guy. Oh, no, he's dead. Never mind. He's just dead. Reboot. Well, do you see how even the music here... Oh, no, he's alive. It almost looks like he's wearing a tactical vest. But you see how the music here... Maybe it's contrasting what's going on, but it still kind of fits for the idea of contrasting what's going on in the in the trailer instead of just hip hop music. <laughs> Ooh, magic! Oh wow! Okay. I'm getting a definite like imagery, like almost like a 
invoking of Elden Ring as an as imagery here. Mm. Um, I don't know if you played Elden Ring, but Elden Ring was game of the year. It's a big deal. But this this some of the stuff looks like it could be in an Elden Ring game. Um, that see the problem with from stop one thing I want to say is that this looks like it's going to be fast. I mean, obviously, I mean you can see it. It's fast paced combat. Group doesn't that guy seriously? He doesn't that guy look like he is wearing a tactical okay. vest? Yeah, with the uh, with the molly on it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, but this is fast paced combat. It looks like this is online. So, um. Mm. Like it looks like those are other other players, and then you're. That's why I'm saying it almost like a for honor. Meets maybe like an Elden Ring, but I the, the fast pace of the combat really, really I love that, and the From Software games tend to be a lot slower because the high damage and you can't hit as much or take hits as much or anything like that. It's so. like there's some like uh, warlocks or something there, or witches and stuff, or some yeah. kind of sauce. Yeah. Yeah, definitely some cool. Like right there, this lady looks like uh, I believe the one of the main characters of Elden Ring is Melania. I think her name was, but. Oh. Mer Morelia or something? The, the Valkyries, you know. Something, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So does this say... So it says Medieval Fantasy Brawler. So I'm wondering what kind of game is it... Again, this is another one of those questions. What kind of game is it going to be? Is it going to be an online multiplayer brawler where you load in, kind of like For Honor, where you come in and you're basically... It's basically like Call of Duty with medieval Absolutely. characters <laughs> not a lot of tactics in that man you just go at it yeah <laughs> um but that's what for honor that's what for honor was yeah uh, and then you had little npcs basically like foot soldiers who'd run in that were non-player controlled and then you took over They're control bots. because yeah bit bots but you can see like this is this is contr a control point, it looks like, and they're contesting it, so the flag goes down, so it looks a little bit like For Honor. Um, and then you're just, you got your hero characters who are going in there killing all the bots and to get points and experience or whatever. Um, the, dude, so the, but, the dude with the hammer is like, it's really whacking. Yeah. I could see you playing that. Hey, just letting you know, you are out of frame. Oh, there you go. Right so, now, let's go. I have to look and see. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I'm still here. But, but let's check out the. So I think that it looks. So what What do you think? I, I didn't really get give you an opportunity. What do you no, think? I, um, I, I, it looks interesting. I mean, I like you said. We don't know how it's how it's going to come out. If it's online, it's you know, you play with other people. You know, if it's like modern warfare. Yeah. If you um, if you know, if you're watching this and you know. On YouTube, leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know which, what, um, any more details that you might know about the game. Uh, okay, but let's check out let's check out the comment section here. I've played a ga this game already a few times. It looks very impressive, but believe me, the combat just falls into button mashing chaos. Seems like a two. Despite looking like For Honor Battle System clone, it's not exactly one. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Button match. <laughs> Okay, because that was the thing with For Honor. For Honor was like you had to. It was fast paced. This is this is kind of what I would. The greatest thing about For Honor and and what I what I look for and what I would really like the From Software games to become more like, is that For Honor, like you'd get into you'd you run in and you'd be able to kill these NPC characters really quickly, because they're just weak little guys. You can just run through and kill them, bunch of them. And then and then there'd be a player and you'd almost it's like a almost like a real life duel where you've got a you've got a You've got your controller, and you've got up. Makes your character block up, and then left and right. And so while he's trying to, while you're trying to like switch which direction you're attacking, you're, the other guy's trying to like switch which direction he's blocking, and then you're trying to do these different attacks, and it gets real fast paced. But you're still able to like parry, and it's it's not just doing a bunch of damage to each other, and it, and and so it gets really into the skill. It's really it's it's e easy to um, play, very difficult to master. So. You know the one thing I didn't see in it. I didn't. Did you? Did I see any bow and arrows in that? I mean, I, I, I maybe I missed it, but oh, just it, it looked like it was quite close combat. I didn't see any bow and arrows. Bow and arrow. But, bow and arrow. That's yeah. interesting. Um. Yeah. Well, we have the wizards. Um, yeah. But yeah. 
I'm looking through. Yeah, I didn't see any bow and arrows either, though. Actually, now that you mention it, you have you have wizards shooting stuff. Yeah, I'm, there must be, but we're probably just not we're probably just not getting it. I mean, even yeah. in For Honor, they had they had bows and arrows. Oh. Uh, just looking. Yeah. Um, so it's coming, it's going to be a, okay, so that's what it is, free to play. Yeah, free to play PvP medieval fantasy combat game for two teams of up to 16 players each. Choose your soldier, lead your squad in the combat, uh, and incarnate as a powerful mortal to turn the tide of war. Okay, so that's basically what you do. You come in, you got your hero, you have your, your squad or whatever of NPCs, mm -hmm. you lead them into combat, and it's a, it's a, an online multiplayer game. Uh, pro Ooh. Probably a lot like a MOBA, like um, base assault, multiplayer online base assault game like League of Legends and stuff like that. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know why that that started playing. Um, so uh, I don't know. It, honestly, to tell you the truth, the combat look like I said looks fast paced and, and cool. Not not so people are commenting that there's not so much skill as much as there is just butt mashing. So. That could be okay, but I don't like that in a multiplayer game. I like that in a campaign game. So I don't know if this one's gonna def gonna be for me, but it'll be free to play. And it's coming soon, so. Um, maybe the damage bar over enemy's head should be removed for more op optional or made optional for the player. I don't like damage bars. It it cl does clutter the screen. Um, doesn't look half bad. I I mean I I agree with that. I don't think it looks bad or anything. It's just. What identity do you want your game to have? Yes, so none. What were you gonna say? Oh no, I, I just—it just looks like it's. It looks like um, on Modern Warfare, you have twenty, a shipment twenty-four-seven. It's a real close, you know, shooting each other. You don't yeah. last very long. You die real quick and stuff like that. But then there's yeah. other ones where you use a little bit of strategy and you. You hit somebody at a distance, or you, you sneak up and get them, you know, I and mean, there's a lot of... You, so, so you, you think this is going to be... I don't know. I don't know if I do well at this. I'm always getting the guy that gets killed first when we have these close games. I have to... Yeah, so you think work. this is going to be like run in, die real quick, respawn, run in, die again real quick it kind of thing? Like it, to me. it looks yeah. like it to me. I could be wrong. I mean... Yeah. I might need to be the wizard or something, you know. Yeah, yeah. I I'm telling you, I love yeah. magic magic users in games like this, though. So, um, but yeah, I don't know. So I think that it's a bit mixed. People are people are a little bit mixed on this one. Melania, yeah, Mel Melania, in the thumbnail, yeah, that was her name. That's that's literally looks just like her. Has the same thing mm -hmm. in front of her face, red hair, yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, it's going to be free, so so it, it just says coming soon, but it is going to be free. So if you want to check it out, at least it's not going to cost you anything. Um, right, right. I, uh, that makes it more uh, more likely that I would play it. Yeah, exactly. So. Right. But anyway, um, check it out. I guess when it comes out, it, it did it give, it didn't give, yeah, let me see, June 19th. There's going to be a demo available, so after June 19th, we'll know a little bit more. So, but all, what is with this? How do I? I got to figure out how to turn that off. Where it? Because you know what it does is that it automatically skips to the next thing, and then I put it here, and it starts playing the video again. Um, but anyway, okay. I'm just gonna go to the library. So check that right. out when it comes out, and let us know in the comments section down below on YouTube uh, how the game actually turned out. So. But, all right, let's move forward here into the next one. Hey guys, some of you may know that I was in the army for 10 years. Uh, I have since left. That makes me a veteran. Um, but uh, I have a veteran buddy. Some of you know him as Salty Skipper. Some of you know him as his real name, uh, Stephen Russell. Him and I have both um, are trying to start our own business, me with my YouTube channel and him with a comic book. So check out what he has to say about that right now. Hey guys, my name's Steven Russell. I'm the uh, 
story creator and artist for the series called Tales of Nihilism. It's about a normal person living in a world of superheroes and how they would have to navigate and react to that world. The series is digitally up on Global Comics, and you can purchase PDFs. Uh, we will also be uh, premiering the first physical copy at Plastic City Comic Con August 19th in Fitchburg, Massachusetts, near Boston. So if you want to come out and support the series or you want to purchase some ad space in the physical comic book, feel free to reach out at uh, Tales of Nihilism. Thank you. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after-action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my Spring store. The links for everything are in the description below. Thank <laughs> you.